No I like how y'all target only females, though. I mean, I talk to dudes. I'm not. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I I do business with guys. But no, I, what we want here is the truth. Hey, nah, I do. Nah, because you, if you feel that it's not good for your business and your brand to that. work with men, and it makes it harder and tougher to secure the the deal, and you feel like, hey, I can easily work with women. I can accomplish them. I can help them. They'll listen. They'll do the things I need them to do. It's okay, because trust me, men give me a harder time too. Right. Right. Well, no, I'm not saying that it's difficult to work with men. I'm just saying men typically don't. Say, men are less likely to say, I need help. But how can you get, that can distinguish you, that can distinguish you from other agencies if you can break down that. Oh, uh, I don't. Uh, okay, so let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Baby, you're going to be on bad and it's unedited. So I want you to, I'm not chopping nothing out, so what you say is what you get. Trying to be politically correct. So, I get that, and and we can break down the barriers and the strongholds that prevent men from coming to mm -hmm. us. Why work through that when we have women that are ready and willing to take their businesses and their brands to the next level, and we don't have to fight through uh, traumas and and and, and stereotypes and, and strongholds to get them to do business with us? So I mean, it's really it's really we get some guys to be like, hey, I saw what you did with X Y Z, I'm all in. But for the most part, man, women typically just. They are quicker to say I need help, and they're quicker to spend their money. If 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 you think about like married couples, woman said woman said the wife says, "Hey, we need these new cabinets. These cabinets are gonna cost us twenty thousand dollars." The first thing that man gonna say is, "How are we gonna pay for it?" Or for twenty thousand dollars, I could do it myself. Mm -hmm. And they gonna go on YouTube, and they gonna look up magazines and books and all this stuff to figure out how to install these cabinets. Save twenty thousand dollars, maybe spend eight nine thousand dollars, and that's just the mentality of a man. I'd rather try to do it myself versus pay somebody else to do it. Well, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be honest? Absolutely. So, are you married? Uh-uh. You're dating? I'm dating. Okay. So, if your girl come to you and say, a guy, a girl, girl come to you. Girl, yeah. Okay. I don't want to assume. So, <laughs> I'm just being honest because yeah, you know, I don't want to offend people. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, so, if your girl come to you and say, hey, I want these new cabinets for $20,000, are you going to be that guy that's going to YouTube and Google? No. So, you, so you're not just a typical guy. guy. No, I'm not that guy. Okay. So but then, then what if, about if you meet another guy that's just like you? If I meet another guy, he, he has no issue with coming and doing business with us. Yeah, so you're okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with guys. No. I'm just saying <laughs> it's the guy. I'm not going to convince you. I'm not. You're not, not going to do that. I'm not going to persuade you. But you know, the, the hardest part is, is like I tell people in my team or tell me this nowadays. If I say you ain't about to spend no money, man, woman, I am not about to waste my time Why? with you. Why? Because I just don't have time to do it. it. I'm not about to, baby, listen, this is what it is. Right. What's up? <laughs> That's it. I'm with it. What's up? Right. I, I learned something the other day, like, um, let me be honest with you guys. A guy called me and he was like, oh, I did X, Y, and Z. Like, I didn't get, I did this for to get my stimulus money and this and that. And I was like, well, I didn't file your taxes. I didn't do this. This is like, I was like, this is not something I can help. You need to contact the IRS. Right. He hung the phone up in my face. But he called me for help, but you can't get upset with me. And then he went and said, oh, you got a one star. Like, give him a bad review. And I was like, you douchebag. I didn't even do you nothing right. wrong. I didn't even do a service for you. I didn't even provide a service. I mean, are. Yeah, so you're going to go say that and it's like leave that stupid comment and say, I was rude to you. No, I wasn't rude. I just, not giving you the answer and it's like i'm not about to sit down and fight with you because minimum you want to sit down i say hey it's fifteen hundred dollars you're like oh well my stimulus check is number 12 or 1400 i don't want to pay you that then i'm rude again can you win no okay so i just want you to understand <laughs> that no, you everybody and i hope and the reason why I, was, I wasn't trying to get him to bash men or anything what uh -huh. i want him to do is i want you guys to understand that it's okay to have your boundaries set with the type of clients that you want to deal with. Absolutely. That's okay. And you don't have to feel pressured to deal with a certain type of client. As you shouldn't. Because every client isn't a client for you. Right. Every client isn't going to be your client. And you have to be okay with allowing that client to leave. And it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just that we're not a match. And you want to provide that service for that individual, that client, and you want to do your best. But sometimes some clients make it very difficult and hard, hard, hard and even harder for you to do that, right. to deliver that service. Because you're just not a match.